السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور کورس انسٹرکٹر مس انیکا سعیدیا فرام یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن بینک روڈ کیمپس لاہور آئی ہیو بین ایسوسیٹیڈ ود دس پروفیشن فار لاسٹ فائیو ایئرس اینڈ یور میجر کورس ان پینٹنگ تھیسز ہیز دا کوڈ ایف آئی این ای فور ون ٹو فائیو so the first topic which we will study is about the color and its symbolism and uh, to create any painting uh, thoughtfully you should have complete knowledge about such elements uh, color is one of them so let's get started with the color color has always been recognized for its symbolic power and an appreciation of this reaches back to the ancient times however the understanding and interpretation of color symbolism has changed over time and varies from culture to country so from the ancient times from the prehistoric times we used to see the use of color even also in the caves and the color has got its meaning changed with the passage of time and in different cultures in different religions uh, we can see uh, the different concepts associated with the same color different uh, attributes given to the same color in different cultures color is an important aspect of every culture color can represent love anger sadness in fidelity and religious affiliations depending on the culture in this lesson we will look at the different meanings of color and their use in visual painting so color used to vary from culture to culture for example in western cultures brides used to wear white color on the happy occasion but in indian culture we can see if someone dies then they used to wear a white color and in the same way red color in china is the color of prosperity and good luck while in pakistan red color is usually uh, worn by the brides on their weddings colors carry deep meanings with them in every culture in western culture in far eastern middle eastern culture indian culture and african cultures have stark differences in the symbolism of colors within their cultures so uh, a one color can have different meanings in the different cultures for instance in some cultures white represents innocence but in others it can represent death The symbolism of colors often stems from religious, spiritual, social or historical events. So, any society or any culture is composed of these uh, four components: religion, spir- uh, spirituality, and the social uh, so- society and the historical events. Symbolism of red color Red through its association with fire and blood is used to represent danger anger and violence for the same reason it is also associated with affairs of the heart love and passion in the ancient in the prehistoric times especially we used to see that the cave people have a specific kind of fear from the fire so that's why they associate such attributes with the red color like anger violence and danger in paul gauguin's vision after sermon jacob wrestles with the angel in a blood red field of spiritual battle an apt metaphor for his internal struggle against the will of god सो so, जैसे कि आप इस पेंटिंग में देख सकते हैं पॉल गुगैन की द विजन आफ्टर द सर्मोन सो 
ये एक सीन दिखाया गया है जिसमें आप नन्स को देख सकते हैं विच हैव केम आउट ऑफ द चर्च आफ्टर हैविंग अ समॉन सो ये एक आर्टिस्ट की इंटरनल फीलिंग्स की डिपिक्शन है जिसमें जैकब को एंजल के साथ लड़ते हुए दिखाया गया है एंड द रेड कलर सिम्बलाइज द फाइट एंड द डेंजर एंड एक्चुअली पॉल गुगैन जो है उस टाइम पे बहुत ज़्यादा सफ़र कर रहा था ही वॉज गोइंग थ्रू द वेरियस अप्स एंड डाउन इन हिज लाइफ एंड उस चीज़ को उसने इस पेंटिंग में डिपिक्ट किया है uh, इसके अपने इनर इमोशंस को एक्सप्रेशनिस्ट पेंटर एडवर्ड मंच मंच आइकॉनिक 1893 पेंटिंग द स्क्रीम इज नॉन फॉर इट्स यूज ऑफ रेड ह्यूज स्क्रीम इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पेंटिंग बाय द आर्टिस्ट एडवर्ड मंच एंड वी कैन सी द वेरियस रिप्रोडक्शंस ऑफ दिस पेंटिंग पीपल यूज टू प्ले विद दिस पेंटिंग विद सो मैनी डिफरेंट आइडियाज द स्क्रीम इज नॉन फॉर इट्स यूज ऑफ रेड ह्यूज मंच मंच वॉज नॉन फॉर हिज एक्सप्लोरेशन of psychological themes this painting in particular was intended to elicit a sense of overwhelming uncertainty so munch can be seen playing with the different issues and themes associated with the human psyche this painting in particular was intended to elicit a sense of overwhelming uncertainty Edward Munch the screen this is the painting about which we are talking about if you used to see the colors you can see the use of warm colors in the sky which actually depicts the artist inner emotions inner turmoil inner anger and you can see a figure standing in front of the painting and uh, the expressions are so um horrible and it's a kind of screaming figure uh and the scream actually the inner voice of the artist sometimes we are unable we became bound uh we are we can't express ourselves properly so through this painting artist has tried to express his such um hidden uh feelings and emotions symbolism of orange color orange symbolizes creativity change energy and endurance it is the color that represents autumn as a secondary color it combines elements of the colors used to mix it the creative passion of red with the energy and joy of yellow so we know that orange is a secondary color and by mixing red and yellow we got the secondary color orange so uh, both the qualities of the primary colors red and yellow uh, are also associated with this color uh, for example energy and passion of the red color and the joy and the um, energy of yellow color so uh, and orange color also uh, associated with something new uh with some change with some difference mark rothko the american abstract expressionist artist he encouraged viewers to stand close to his large paintings so that they became spiritually immersed in the experience of color orange and yellow is the door to an inferno of color with a radiant energy that invites the spectator to open their emotions to a spiritual kinship with primitive and archaic art so mark rothko used to paint a very large scale huge size canvases in the single color or in the two tones of a single color and his paintings were full of emotions we hardly found any kind of uh, images any kind of uh, lines or shapes or other kind of elements uh in his paintings he only used colors and uh, 
it's uh, he only talks about the colors and its texture and its symbolism mark rothko orange and yellow so this is the painting about which we are talking about uh, as you can see there are two colors orange and yellow and the middle tones of orange so this painting is totally symbolic uh, symbolic and uh, has been expressing the emotions of mark rothko and the different people can associate themselves um, with this painting according to their memories and according to their experiences and perception symbolism of yellow color sunflowers by van gogh van gogh also uses yellow as a symbol of hope and friendship as the sunflower series was painted to welcome his friend paul gauguin to the yellow house in arles so van gogh used to have his own house um which he used to call it yellow house in the arles and paul gauguin was another very famous artist from expressionism so both of them were used to be friends and especially he painted this painting um to welcome gauguin van gogh van gogh painted two series of sunflowers between august 1888 and january 1889 and this example uh is from the van gogh museum in amsterdam and is a copy of an earlier version which is the national gallery in london so there is a complete museum uh which is comprised of van gogh's different paintings and artworks and uh, this exam uh, this painting uh is used to be uh found in that national gallery in london here you can see the painting sunflowers by the vincent van gogh and here the yellow color has been used as a symbol of friendship and uh, joy symbolism of green color so now we will look at the green color and its associations symbolism of green color green as the color of plants and grass is the color of nature and all that is associated with health and growth so it is very obvious that in in our surroundings in our nature uh, we used to see trees and plants and shrubs all these have the green color and it is also a cool color so it has a very soothing effect on our eyes that's why human beings used to love nature however it is also used to represent more negative traits such as in way and in experience it also varies from culture uh, culture to culture so suzanne was a very uh, prolific artist of the movement uh, expressionism and uh, his painting the bridge at mainsy is a formal composition of horizontal vertical and diagonal lines and whose rigor is somewhat relieved by the curves of the bridge so uh this painting uh is usually composed of uh, different lines like straight lines vertical and horizontal and diagonal lines so the staticness and the very geometrical composition has been balanced by the curved lines of the bridge which he ha uh, has painted in the painting um you can see in the coming slide and uh, what turns his steadfast structure into a woodland century is the myriad of greens which bath the scene in a magical emerald light so the combination of the uh, tones um uh, of green among the light of the sun has been remarkably captured paul suzanne called his painting constructions after nature he saw painting in abstract terms as the construction and arrangement of color on two dimensional surface if we look closely to his painting we can see that color has been applied in the form of a uh, small shapes and the patch patchy quality is evident and the rough in uh, rough brush strokes is evident in his work the composition was simply a vehicle to assist with the realization of the surface st structure 
of pattern and color so basically the composition of the painting is mainly focuses on the uh, surface structure which is where we can found different kind of patterns uh, coming out of his uh, painting and um, due to which his painting has become more um, abstract in terms of color this is the painting by paul cezanne the bridge at mency so you can easily see there are only curve lines evident in the bridge while rest of the lines are very straight either they are horizontal or vertical or diagonal and uh, each color each tone of green has been um, converted into a patch like shape into different shapes we can see so the treatment of the painting uh, gives a feeling of abstract uh, form symbolism of blue color here is another very famous painting uh, by james mesnell whistler which was painted in 1834 to 1903 as you can see it's a kind of monochromatic painting and at the back side we can see the horizon line where sky and uh, sea used to meet but it is it is just the illusion of our eyes um, and we can see the different shades of blue along with pure hue and the overall feeling overall um, aura of the painting is very peaceful and soothing blue is the coolest and the most calming of all the colors as the color of the sky it has been used since ancient times to represent heaven so uh, from the prehistoric time or in ancient times uh, people used to associate blue color with the heaven with the sky because sky uh, sky is something which is not in our approach uh, which used to fascinate us uh, that's why people Uh, have a concept of fascination towards heaven so that's why in that context they used to um, associate heaven with the sky in classical mythology blue was the color associated with the gods venus and jupiter so venus was the goddess and jupiter was the god and uh, classical mythology is associated with uh, greek civilization we know that in greek greeks used to have different gods and goddesses uh, for sun for sky uh, for beauty for law for wealth everything for everything they used to have their individual god and goddesses so they also used to associate a blue color uh, with the gods and goddesses um, in christianity it becomes the symbol of the virgin mary as queen of heaven so in biblical context we used to see that blue color used to associate with virgin mary as she is considered as the queen of heaven as the color of the ocean it is also suggests qualities like freshness purity and hygiene so both these characteristics are associated with uh, water and that's why blue is also considered as the water color so that's why it has got these associations the calmness of blue is seldom more visible than in this nocturne of the river thames by whistler the view is at twilight from betis from a uh, better sea looking across to chelsea so is, there is a kind of twilight feeling uh, if we used to see especially at the night uh, a kind of light which used to be emitted from the uh moon that particular light dim light used to be called as twilight and uh, on in the painting we can easily see uh this twilight um emitting towards the uh, sea the life and love of krishna as ex- as expressed in the poetic works the bhag the bhagavata purana and the Gita Govinda make up the uh, commonest theme of the paintings so Bhagavata Purana and the Gita Govinda are the very famous paintings 
uh, of the miniatures of the Indian miniatures, uh, together with other Hindu myths, hero heroine of Ragmala series were portrayed among hills and rivers. So uh, Krishna, along with Radha, along with Radha, these two characters are very famous in these uh, uh, books. And Krishna was also considered to be of having dark complexion, one of reason to be painted in blue color. So uh, it is. It was considered that he was not. Uh, he doesn't have very fair color. So that's why blue color has been uh, painted in his body to depict that dark complexion, and also uh, because blue color is associated with water and sky so that's why uh, krishna has also been painted in this blue color as you can see in this example seen from the gita govinda book krishna meets radha so here you can see the treatment of the painting in the typical um, indian style and krishna in the center figure has been painted in the blue color because they used to associate him uh, with the superpowers with the magical powers because he used to consider him is their god so that's why such kind of uh, color is associated with him symbolism of purple color purple is the color of royalty wealth and power in times past Purple dyes were rare and expensive. Only the rich and powerful could afford to wear clothes of this luxurious color. Catherine II, known as Catherine the Great, supported the development of the arts, literature and education in Russia. Her personal art collection became the foundation of the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, and she is portrayed here wearing a gown of the finest purple silk draped with ermine robes, clothes worthy of her noble status. So we can see in the history that purple color has been associated with the status of richness and royalty. And especially it is found in the silk draperies which used to be very expensive and only affordable by the elite class. Common person, ordinary people cannot afford such kind of silk draperies. Here you can see the Catherine the Greek by the artist Fyodor Roktov, painted in 1736. Lighter hues tend to execute more peaceful, tranquil emotions. Purple also has symbolic meaning attached to it. Purple prose is described as that which is extremely imaginative and prone to exaggeration. Artist George O'Keefe was known to use purple in many of the flowers she so prolifically painted. As we know that George O'Keefe was a Mexican artist and she used to paint the very uh, close-ups of flowers and used to associate them with the character of female as the flowers used to be very fragile and they have their own fragments so he used to uh, she used to make such kind of association with the help of color as well and with the help of tangible qualities as well here is the painting by George O'Keefe as you can see the different tones of lighter tones and the middle tones of purple and they are associated with the female symbolism of brown color brown is the color of earth wood and stone so that's why it is also um, associated with nature and its uh, hardships as such it evokes craftsmanship and the greatest outdoors. So we used to see that uh, labor is associated uh, with such kind of mediums. Um, if there is a woodcutter, 
if there if, if if the furniture is uh, if someone is making furniture he will use the wood or uh, if someone is making homes or architecture working on architecture then they will use stones uh, and mud so these are the uh, materials which are associated with labor uh, craftsmanship it is also used to represent humility a down to earth virtue although this painting is from vincent van gogh later body of work which is noted for the brilliance of its color he reverts to the darker palette of his earlier work to reflect the humility of the subject matter so uh, we used to see that um, van gogh mostly used very bright colors like mid yellows and blues um and oranges in his paintings but uh there was a specific uh phase came in his life when he saw the ups and downs and he was also uh, facing the mental disability but he in that particular phase of ups and downs uh, in his life he focused on the life of peasants as well uh he used to relate his sufferings and uh, problems with uh, those of the peasants so he also painted a very famous painting the potato eaters where he used very uh, dark tones of browns and ochres and the family has been shown seated in a small room under the very dim light of the lamp and they're just eating the potatoes boiled potatoes so uh, these are the these are the tied old sho- shoes of a humble peasant van gogh paints this image in rugged earthy browns to suggest the hardship of their owner's life and to pay respect to the dignity of manual labor so about this painting we are talking about shoes painted in 1888 by van gogh so the shoes as you can see they are not in very good condition uh and the and there are uh, all the tones almost of browns and ochres and they are symbolic of um, craftsmanship and the labor uh, which is associated by their owner which used to wear them so there is also kind of uh, respect which has been given towards such kind of craftsmen which uh, who used to work day and night psychological effects of neutral colors as we know so the neutral colors are black white and gray by adding these three colors in any hue or color the purification of that color uh just changes but it uh but it's characteristics remain the same for example if we add red um if we add white and red we can get the tints of red in the form of pinks and baby pinks but it cannot change into yellow orange or in any other color but if we add yellow in red then we will get the orange color so it will change that color symbolism of black color black and its association with the darkness is used to represent death evil which craft fear and mourning in the western culture we can see that if someone uh, dies they used to wear black gowns especially black dresses on the funerals uh, the widow by Keith Colwitz is one of the series of prints from a portfolio called Cringe which deals with the wretched human tragedy of World War 1 so in these prints we can see the color black has been used as a symbol of tragedy and trauma and this is a desolate image of a grief grief strict um 
stricken wife who is embracing the memory of her departed husband so uh, there the black color has been used uh, to mourn the death of her husband black is the only appropriate color for such a sad and distressing subject as you can see the widow there is a it is it's a print and it uh, it's symbolizing all the sufferings and sorrows of that widow and uh, now we will see the uh, psychological effect of next color next neutral color there is another painting uh, on the black color a uh, spanish painter francisco goya created a series of paintings between the years of 1819 and 1823 that are referred to as the black paintings the dark color palettes and haunting imagery used in these paintings was likely a nod to the fear and ex and an anxiety that plagued goya after the napoleonic wars and two near fatal illnesses so goya was also a very famous painter and uh, he was famous to paint the very uh, psychological uh, emotions of the sitters and which were used to be very visible in the eyes uh, in the features of his portraits and uh, the insane woman was a very famous painting by him in which the psychological problems uh, are very beautifully captured in the woman's eye playing upon the fearful ominous aspect of the hue goya is able to evoke feelings of panic and turmoil within his works so goya was also suffering from such kind of turmoils and psychological sufferings in his personal life so the same feelings we used to see in his paintings where he has taken the help of black color to create more uh, drama and to create more um, fear and turmoil in his paintings as you can see this is a very famous painting by goya saturn devouring his child saturn devouring his son so it is basically a very imaginary character um, a mythical character uh, saturn uh, which can be seen that he is eating his own child and uh, the black color has been shown as very uh, is been associated in a very evil way and it has been arousing a very kind of um, fearful and turmoil uh, feelings symbolism of gray color gray is the neutral color of some metals and stone but it also has some negative associations with the weather boredom decay and old age gray is a mixture of black which represents death and white which is which represents peace and is the color of ashes and dust so as just it is also associated with death and mourning because we know when something burns out it just converts into the ashes and this process in this regard this color has been associated with the decay and with the dust and ashes and uh old age goat skull bottle and candle by pablo picasso is a modern vanitas still life a traditional genre that addresses the idea of our mortality vanitas still life depicted objects that had a symbolic meaning a skull as a symbol of death or a candle as the transient flame of life so here you can see painting by the pablo picasso goat skull bottle and candle so he used to paint um abstract forms and uh, he used to paint 
under the cubism movement so if you uh, see very clearly if you see with the uh, concentration you can see there is a skull of goat with the two eyes at the right side and there is a bottle on the left side which is hardly evident so the goat skull has been used as a symbol of death and decay because it's a bone it representing a skull so there is no flesh no blood no skin and the skull has been came uh, after the process of decay of flesh so that's why it is associated with uh, the death and uh, candle has been associated as a transition as uh, the as the spirit used to move from the body towards the um, sky so it's a kind of a uh, transition element symbolism of white color on the opposite end of the spectrum white is often associated with safety and openness uh, it is it is also associated with emptiness purity and peacefulness it is seen as peaceful color that projects clarity so like i said before the association of any color depends on the specific culture and the different norms associated with that specific culture or country similarly white has a pure clean feeling that is why it is often used in hospitals to produce a sense of sterility while in western cultures the color represents purity and elegance in various eastern societies it is closely associated with death and used in morning ritual especially in indian culture if we used to see uh, if someone dies to he used to wear uh, people used to wear the white clothes uh, as a symbol of sadness and uh, mourn on the funerals romantic painter ari skeffer often painted many works focusing on christian themes his 1854 painting the temptation of christ showcases the use of white as a symbol of clarity and peace imparting emotion through sentimental and pure gestures so here we can see the representation of christ and uh, the white color has been associated uh, omitting the peaceful vibes here you can see the temptation of christ the christ has been shown holding a drapery white drapery which is symbolic of peace and prosperity and there is a halo at the back side of the christ which representing his spiritual power so i hope that today's lecture has gave you lot of information about the usage of color in painting and its symbolic qualities which can vary from culture to culture or in different countries we can found different attributes to a specific color